Hello, Jeff Swanson here from System Trader Success. What I want to highlight today is a free equity curve indicator. This equity curve indicator is displayed here in the lower pane uh, of this current chart here. And it's been updated since it's been first released last fall or late last summer. The new feature added to it is upon er the close of every bar, you'll get an update sent to you via email and that email will contain important information such as how many contracts you have open and what's your open equity. So let's take a closer look. Of course it's going to display as it always has the open equity. Again we have a trading system here which has gone long. This is an intraday system on a five minute chart and what the open equity curve uh, indicator is going to show you is simply your open equity on that open trade. It's going to be displayed in green once you're in the green and if you're in the red it will be shown in the red. Let me show you what the inputs look like. So here it is, equity curve open. Here's your inputs. So the first few are the, the colors, the positive color. This is for when your equity is positive, the color for when your equity is negative, and a zero line if you would like that displayed. Here we have it as white. The next thing is the start and stop times for the alerts. Me personally, I don't want the alerts to come in on every bar because it will update on every bar. And that means even if you don't have an open position, it's going to update you, hey, you don't have an open position. Likewise, if you do have, it's going to show you that, yeah, you have an open position, the number of contracts, and what is the open equity. I don't want those to come in all the time. There's times when I do have to be away from my computer, and those are most often between these times. I have um, kids in summer school, uh, or if there's a particular errand I want to run, I'll try to get that knocked off right away in the morning. Um, but these are the times that um, are often I have to be away from my computers. And so what will happen is only during these times will this indicator actually send out the text message. I should say it's not really a text message. It's simply an email being sent to an address. And of course, you can use your smartphone um, to view that. You can use uh, a computer, a laptop, whatever. Let's take a look at some of these other inputs. Uh, these are all taken care of, but the next thing you'll want to do for using this is to actually enable the alerts. We're going to be using TradeStation's built-in alert feature. So when you do use this, you're going to have to actually come in here and enable those alerts by checking this checkbox here. You're going to want to set this to alert only once per bar interval. The next part is you're going to configure your email. Let's go select this, use global messaging preferences. I'm going to disable audio, visual indicators, and then enable the email for this example. And of course, this will come up with this pane here. This is going to be the email address to send to. You can put a, a, excuse me, this is the from email address. This is the to. And this is going to be your ISP, uh, in this case, Comcast. And once you have this all configured, you're going to be sent an email message that's going to give you information on your position at the close of the bar. In this case, let me get back to the screen. This is something else that's important. You saw there, if you change those preferences um, on this indicator, the screen will refresh. And often that will interfere with a live trade. So once a trade is on live, you probably do not want to touch it. As I stated before, I expect an email message to come in once per bar interval. So every five minutes in this case, I'm going to expect to get an email. If I know a trade is opened, or perhaps even if I don't know a trade has been um, opened, but all of a sudden I notice I'm not getting my email notifications, I'm going to be suspicious that perhaps I lost internet connection, some type of power failure, or other type of glitch. This will prompt me to call the trade station um, to check my account or to check my account some other way if I have another computer available and try to log into my TradeStation account. Quickest way may be to, uh, to actually call TradeStation and check your, uh, check your positions and of course if you're having trouble and you're away from your computer uh, just to have uh, the representative take your position flat close out all open positions to play it safe. Okay so what do these email messages look like? 
I snipped uh, three different ones here and put them into Notepad. Let's just start at the bottom, but this is what you're going to get. You're going to get one, two, three, four, five lines of text. The first line of text uh, is going to tell you it's from TradeStation. It's going to tell you that it's a chart analysis alert. It's going to give you the symbol that you're that it's generated from. And it's also going to be say, it's also going to give you the indicator which generated this alert. So in this case it's the intraday open equity curve indicator along with the inputs to that in care. The next is the info line. This is the custom text that's coming from the code of the intraday open equity curve indicator. In this case it's telling you hey a trade was just opened. It's going to tell you the number of contracts that were opened. It's going to tell you the closed equity. Of course this is the historical equity over the past few days based on whatever you have loaded in your chart and then it's going to have the open equity. Since we just opened this trade, we don't have any open equity. Next line is the source, which is a bit redundant because it's going to tell you once again that this is from the intraday open equity curve indicator along with its inputs. Next is going to be when this occurred, date and time, and then the current price. This is the price at which it was entered. Now this doesn't tell you if it's long or short. It's probably really not that important basically we just want to know if we have a position on or not that's what I'm particularly interested in and of course if these messages are coming in at the five minute interval that I'm expecting but it's something I might add in the future this one here of course it's going to be identical except what happened here it's telling us that the trade closed uh, we can see now that uh, our contracts count is at zero uh, our closed equities at minus fifty so for example, what we could tell here is, let's say it went from this one to this one, we could see this was a losing trade and our open equity is zero. And this is another example here of what you might see. And this is just a bar being updated. You may see this a lot. You will see this a lot. This will be generated on every bar and it's gonna tell you even if you don't have any contracts open, uh, no open equity obviously, because we have no contracts open, this is just telling you that, hey, the bar closed. I'm sending out this information. So once again, you're going to see a lot of these. But when you open a trade, you're going to get this. And when the trade closes, you're going to get this. And so again, I like to see this every five minutes when I'm trading on a five-minute bar. If you're trading a one-minute bar, you're going to get one every minute, and so on. Should work with tick. I haven't tested it with tick, but I have traded it with uh, live accounts on minute charts. So uh, something I personally do use. I believe that's it. So the code is available for download. And if you have any other suggestions, you'd like to see some more information in this or any other ideas um, to improve uh, what information I can send via email, you know, put it in the comments and uh, I'll definitely take a look at it. So that's it for now. Until next time.